we are learning more Americans are online dating than ever. A February 2022 study found about 16% of the U.S. population uses online dating. But how can you be sure that it's safe that you're meeting up with basically a stranger? Then on your side, Haley Milon went to the experts to get tips to keep you safe. More people are meeting and dating online than ever before, but experts say you need to be able to defend yourself in case things go south. Some women have been attacked and you know, that's a sensitive area. They want to come in here and, and get their frustrations out and sometimes they'll just break down in tears. Mark Myers owns Ocean Martial Arts where he teaches women self-defense. We try to give them some tips that they can use later on that day that might save their life. First thing he'll teach you, getting out of a simple hand grab. I'll start pulling, right? And she's, instead of pulling away, she keeps coming at me. And look how that happened. Boom, boom, boom. And she's out of dodge. Same idea with an attacker grabbing your ponytail or hood. The back right, and spin. The back. Look, Elbow, and get away. Yep. They're not going to expect you to kind of move forward with that force. And so that kind of disrupts their thought process. But hopefully you can sniff out a bad egg before you go out on a date with them. Kara Smith is the chief of analytics for Deliver Fund, a national nonprofit private intelligence firm that hunts human traffickers. Give it a little time. Don't just go, hey, let's go out on a date next week. What do they do for work? What is their background? Where are they from? She recommends getting someone's last name and real phone number before meeting up. That way you can reverse look up their number to make sure they are who they say they are and you can check out their court records online too. That is free and public information on the internet for the most part. Search names on court websites and for a small fee, sites like Been Verified can give you a lot of information about someone too. Anybody who's trying to be devious to you, you might want to question that. Give a trusted friend the person's name and phone number. Always have a time of when you're going to check in. Simply sharing your phone's location with that friend isn't enough. They can track you all day long and they're going to see, oh, she's, you know, at that dude's apartment, oh, they went out to walk by a lake. Because if you don't check in, that's when they need to send law enforcement out in your direction. That black belt you met, Tina Mae, says it's a mindset. You need to prepare your mind for what your body might have to do. For more tips, head over to Wavy.com. I'm Haley Milan in Virginia Beach, 10 on your side.